Monday's always good. You can go ahead and start whenever you want to. Okay.
divide out the 30, it's x again equals 5. It's just this middle part looks different, but you got the same answer. square roots is on the page before that. The diagram here is finding the side length for right triangles only. So this means you have to have that 90 degree invisible angle. This long side X, they also call C, it's called the hypotenuse. It's spelled really weird. I hope I spelled it right. So as long as you have a triangle with 90 degrees of the angle, one angle, and you're missing a side and you want to find it, you can find it with this method. Factory theorem formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The book gives several other the square roots in it and stuff. If you just remember this one, you can manipulate it to the way you want it at the end. Traditionally, the bottom number here is A and the side number is B. Always the long side is C. These two can actually be interchanged. Just keep it square which one you're using for what. So if I'm solving for C here, I said A is 3, so A is 3 squared plus B is 4, 4 squared equals the C squared. So I've got 9 plus 16 equals C squared. So add these together, get 25, that will turn to C squared. I don't want C squared, I just want plain C. So at this point, I have to take the square root. The square root of C squared is C. The square root of 25 is Five. So that's our answer here. C is equal to 5. Just like we found before. You can use the same formula to find the A or the B if they're missing. I'll give you an example of that. Give you a nice fun word problem. Oh, I'm gonna get bigger than that. I'll make you work for this one, Aaron. I don't know if that's logical or not, but anyway. We got our A, our B is what we're gonna look for. You're crawling up this ladder, okay? Here's me. There's you.
Yeah, it's not too many songs. The other one. Are y'all working on one of the presentations? Oh, video. Sorry, that's all right. It's okay. It's nice and warm. So I said, right, problem. Long work on. We've got this building here. We're hoping that it's up 90 degrees to the ground. I'm at the top here and Aaron's trying to get me. He's crawling up this ladder. It's 500 feet. It's placed 100 feet away from the base of the building. So, how far is he going to fall when I push him? So, we want to know how far is he going to go down there? That side beat. So, we're going to use our same formula. See, I told you this was fine. So we got our a squared plus b squared plus equals c squared. So we know our a, that's 100, and we're square that. The b we don't know, so it's b squared. And the c is 500, and we're going to square that. I'll make sure I didn't mess up zeros. slightly different than the last time. Before we had the variable over here, the letter. Now we've got a step in the middle of this thing. We're going to have to do one little extra step to get it to where we can solve it. So we got this B and it's hung on to by this 10,000. So we're going to subtract it to get rid of it. So that leaves us with the B squared on this side equals this. So now we're at the same place we were when c squared equals something. It's squared. The only way to get it back to b where we want it is to take the square root. So He's going to fall down 489.9 feet. Isn't that fun? So that's all about the Pythagorean theorem. So what about these square root things? What are we doing when we do that? This value, the answer to the square root is you just take one of those values out, and that's the answer. So if you have 25 and you take the square root, like here, 5 times 5 is going to give you 25. So the answer to the square root of 25 is just 5. And that's all about square roots. Depending on your calculator, sometimes you have to push a second and find the the key down here, and then put your number in. Some calculators, usually the more simple ones, you put the number in and then hit your square root key. So you're just going to have to play around with it until you figure out how your calculator works. Do you know I only had one eye in this thing? I have to put one dot there. Okay, probably stop it there for this one and then do a separate one. 